Hello, this is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. You know, what time is it? It's scotch time. Salut. I want to thank you guys all for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, do it now. Click the subscribe button. I want to thank you for subscribing, for sharing your comments. Probably the single most important thing you could do. Single most important thing I think that makes this channel great is the fact that you guys participate. Uh, tonight's scotch is the Balvany, and that's a double wood, meaning it's been uh, aged in two different barrels. So time, yeah. What time is it? It's scotch time. When did you as a man learn to tell time? I'm pretty sure I did back in elementary school, maybe first or second grade. I could tell time. I was told the class started at 8 and we'd get out at 2 and you know you could see the little hands and dials going around going around in circles, right? What time is it? By the time we make it to fourth and fifth grade you're really proficient. You can tell the difference between half past an hour and a quarter past. It's not difficult to do. Time. We, uh, it's a linear measurement of the hours of a day. right? We, we as men gauge time, we understand time, we have timetables and schedules to follow. You know, time is not a difficult concept to understand. So why is it? That's right, here it comes. Why is it women think we can't fucking tell time? How many times, <laughs> how often have you heard a woman say to her man, time to go? And it's funny because they'll use that tone like your elementary school teacher, your first and second grade teacher. Which is, whoops, you don't know what time it is. It's time to go. Right, time. We know what it's all about. It is used against us by women. And in fact, they use that, that, um, that elementary school tone with us for lots of things. Right, but women use time against men. Men are sensitive to time. We are. Like I said, we know how many hours we work in a week. We work a 40-hour work week if we've got full-time employment. We know what time to get up. We know what time to be at work. We know what time our lunch is and how soon to be back. We know when to get off. But why is it when we get off of work, all of a sudden, we become infants to women? Do you know what time it is? Right? And you're like, well, yeah, I've got it right here. It says 545. I'm right on time. Well, no, you're late. You've taken too much time. And women, they, what they do is they steal our time. They start managing our time. See, when a woman is allowed to manage your time and say, oh, remember, you're going to be late. And you're like, late, late. No one likes to be late, right? They manage your time. They start saying, oh, we do have time for me to go shopping. It's about time for you to take me on a date. Oh, we don't have time for that. Of course, using the plural we, which is completely presumptive in that they assume that you are a married couple or you're a unit that cannot operate independently. And then they say we, meaning I want. Women use time very, very effectively as a control mechanism. Have you considered that in the past? You know, it is a trick and a half. <laughs> um, time, right? This is, what does a woman need from a man to control him? To manipulate him? To bring him under her spell? What she needs is time. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. She needs time with him away from everyone else. So that she can bring him under control using her tricks. Right? Oh, guess what time it is? It's sex time, right? Ooh, it's time for some cock, they'll say, when you're first going out. Right? They start using time as a control mechanism. Telling you you don't have enough of it. Or you've had enough of one thing and it's time for another. Now, interestingly, all through school, men grow up. And we understand the clock. The bell rings, it's recess! Right? The bell rings, ah, recess over. We are trained, we're indoctrinated to obey the hands of the clock. Time will tell, right? Time tells us what is going on. Time will tell. But when a woman assumes mantle of your clock, 
that is telling you what time it is and what you're supposed to be doing as if she's doing you a favor then she's controlling you now let's go back to 1958 <laughs> Ward Cleaver of the Leave it to Beaver family he's sitting in his office and his secretary comes in and Ward is furiously working away very productive and his secretary says oh, Mr. Ward it's time for your lunch or Mr. Ward you have an appointment uh, you've got to be at in 45 minutes and you asked me to tell you right so men back then secretaries didn't tell them what to do but rather told them what time it was so all through history women have helped men or kept track of time but I think the modern feminist yeah, that's right the modern gold digging whore she understands the value of time right time is her her tool time is her ally if she can convince you to spend more time with her than time with your friends she'll try and convince you how much more valuable she is than them and if she can't lure you away with um, hey you forgot about your appointment or you need to be here and there oh you promised you would be there at four o'clock to meet my mom they continually remind you of time and work on a man's understanding of linear events and they want to control us what better way to say I need you to come home than to say oh dinner's at 515 and you get off at 5 you'd better hurry right now she's telling you to hurry up but she's using the clock time is the mechanism in which to control you once again these are all of the little tricks that women use time Right. When I was married, I would get off at 5, and my wife, who's now my ex-wife, would expect me to be home at 5.30. There was no reason for dinner to be ready and on the table at 5.30. Right. And yeah, she cooked for me, and yeah, that was one of the few things she did, until she decided she was going to run away and find another man. But that's another story. Uh, for years and years, she would say, you have to be home you know, you have to come right home, dinner's ready. What was she doing with that time? She was making dinner for a specific time, 5.30. So that I only had time to get off work and come home. She removed my free time, time that I could have to myself, time to get a drink with the boys, time to go hit a few balls at the driving range, time to go for a run or get some exercise, right? Time to go shop for that new gun I've been 